facility. This will become a mandatory evacuation order within the next 24 hours. And the danger is still far from over. Tropical storm force conditions are expected to last into tomorrow, and this rain isn't expected to let up until Sunday. Even then, the risk of flooding will continue. And we've now learned President Trump plans to visit some of the impacted communities sometime next week. Marcy Gonzalez, ABC News, Wilmington, North Carolina. Well, back here, as we've been reporting, after several days of on and off rain, the ground is saturated, and the areas that typically flood after a heavy rain are definitely in that condition now. One of the locations is Farm Road 2444, where it meets State Highway 286 on the way to Chapman Ranch. Our Michelle Pedraza there live tonight to show us what it's like and to talk more about uh, rising tides. Michelle? Well, Joe, this area is known to flood. Take a look right now. Barricades are set up. Officials are down the road right now. Crews uh, making sure that everybody is safe. They just want everybody to not get stuck in this area. If you do have to drive in this area, just make sure that you are cautious. If you see water, make sure that you turn around. Don't drown. Find a different route. Just stay safe. And earlier today, we were on Padre Island. Take a look at this video. High tides along the beach there. The water is a couple inches higher tonight, very close to the sand dunes. The high tide started two days ago. The peak time for them was around nine tonight, and this is expected to happen uh, tomorrow as well. Officials advise to stay off the beach during these conditions. Not a good idea to drive along the shoreline, especially not the time to be in the water as well. Extremely dangerous for swimmers. Uh, I also talked to some boat owners out there on the island. They say this time of year, this is the time of year for high winds and the water is the highest on their docks, actually washing over the top. Uh, they add that they are not worried about heavy rainfall, but are concerned about winds and high tides. It's not uncommon to get 50 mile per hour winds here. It will, it'll wash over this dock and, it'll, and it will uh, wash your boat in the, if you've got it loose in the uh, settings, why it'll, uh, it'll uh, ding, the, ding the boat around. Again, those conditions are expected to stay that way for tomorrow as well. 